So now, you have to ask yourself this question. If a problem comes your way, you must ask yourself this question, okay. Is this problem here now because I'm preaching the gospel? In other words, if you are witnessing to somebody in a foreign country and they put you in jail, you ask yourself this question, okay. Is this problem here because I stole something or because I'm preaching the gospel? It's because I'm preaching the gospel, right? It's got nothing to do with bad harvest. It's the devil attacking you through those people because you're preaching the gospel. So you use your faith, you command the devil to back off and you continue preaching the gospel. But now, if your fridge breaks down at home, when you get back, it stops working. That's not because you're preaching the gospel. <laughs> we better identify that's the devil <laughs> stealing from you. Rebuke him and then tell him he's going to return money to pay for that fridge. In the name of Jesus. We've got to identify the problem. Identify the source of it. So I'll just go through that quickly again. They are either... Yeah, they are. I want to make sure we get this. The devil tries to steal a word. Number one, number two, wrong choices. Number three, storms come from sowing bad seed. Number four, uh, God can ask you to reach people for the gospel, and that can be a difficult challenge. But God doesn't send a problem. If the fish breaks, breaks down, it's not God. Say this, if the fridge breaks down, it's not God. And don't say, God, why are you allowing this? It's not God allowing it. And if you get sick, don't say, well, God's allowing this. Or God sent it. Jesus did not die on the cross for you to get healed. Then go to heaven and sin make you sick. He's not schizophrenic. Why would he heal you, down the cross to heal you, go to heaven and send sickness on you? Why would Jesus die on the cross for your prosperity and financial ability of success, then go to heaven and send poverty to you? He's not schizophrenic. Satan has deceived millions of Christians around the world to believe that God allowed the devil to make them sick, make them poor, sin problems, and God is allowing it. Lie from the devil. God is not in favor of the devil causing murder. God is not in favor of the devil causing rape and robbery and wars. God has never joined forces with the devil. God is not using the devil as his hitman to do his dirty stuff for him. God is not allowing the devil to do anything. He's given us authority to stop the devil. If a Christian is uncertain or unsure, wondering if God is allowing these problems in their life, they can have no faith to stop the problem. Deal with the devil behind the problem. If the, devils, if the disciples in the boat thought that God was allowing the storm, then they would never pray against the storm. If you think God's sending the storm or allowing the storm, you're not going to rebuke it. And Jesus settled that question. He rebuked the storm. That's clear then. It wasn't from God. It wasn't from God. Jesus would not just rebuke it. If it were. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.